We're on board American Queen Voyage's Ocean Victory. It's an expedition ship that uh, services Alaska and uh, Central America and some parts further south. And we're going to take a look inside the ship. Carrying just 186 guests when fully loaded, Ocean Victory strikes the perfect balance between a luxury yacht and an expedition ship that enables you to get close up to the natural beauty, scenery, and wildlife of the areas in which she sails. I'm Bob Bradley from the Pampered Cruiser, and if you're looking to sail to Alaska or points further afield on a small ship, we'd love to help you out. But first, let's get on with the tour. Launched in 2021, this innovative wonder has six passenger decks, so let's start at the top on deck eight. This is the observation lounge at the front end of deck number eight. We're right above the bridge here, so it's a great place to uh, come when the ship's in motion to see where you're, uh, you're headed to or just to enjoy a cocktail. So this is the bistro on deck eight. It's uh, for alternative dining, and it's, if you can see, it uh, opens up onto the outside, so it's a great place on nicer days where you can come and have something to eat. So just because you're on an expedition ship doesn't mean you don't have some of the creature comforts. So even when you're in Antarctica, there is a pool for you to use perhaps, and it's even an infinity pool, and probably more appropriately, hot tubs. No ship's complete without a gym, and it doesn't disappoint here on Ocean Victory. Come on in. Not a bad place to get a workout in when you've got the wilds of Alaska right out the window. Binoculars, in case you find something interesting. This is the very front end of Deck 5, and it's an enclosed area at the bow of the ship where you can see stuff that's going on. And on nicer days like it is today, there's these... Uh, side parts that fall out from the side so you can uh, actually step outside the vessel to take a look around. Coffee emergencies. Well taken care of. Again, this is on deck five if you need a coffee or a snack at any time of the day. The Expedition Lecture Room, also at the front end of Deck 5, is where all the port briefings, enrichment talks, and other educational events occur. The nice thing about traveling on a ship of this size is that all guests can fit into this room at the same time, and that speaks to the more personal and intimate nature of traveling on a small ship. The Explorer Bar and Lounge is in the middle of Deck 5 and a great place to meet friends or to belly up to the bar and listen to some entertainment. There's also some nice quiet areas if you just want to find a place to sit down next to a window and watch the scenery go by. This is the main dining room at the back end of deck number five. It's big enough to seat all the passengers at once, and it's uh, where we eat all of our meals. So we are on an expedition ship, which means there's stuff to look at out the windows. So we've got telescopes here, and then uh, all over the ship, including in your own stateroom, there are binoculars for you in case there is uh, whale sightings and whatnot on the outside. So. Some people find the word expedition a bit intimidating, conjuring up images of sharing a ship with people that climb Mount Everest on their weekends off. In actual fact, most of the folks on board this ship are not quite that hardcore. This is the ship that has all the comforts of a yacht and also allows you to get off the ship into Zodiac boats or into kayaks so you can just get a little closer to nature and, this, and the scenery surrounding the boat. Those with significant mobility impairments might have to enjoy the scenery from the ship itself, but you don't have to be a performance athlete to climb into a Zodiac and go for a ride. And uh, I look forward to viewing what we can see out here. On Ocean Victory, your outdoor activities on the Zodiacs and the kayaks are included in the fare and are available every day that you're at a port stop or where it's appropriate to do so. Uh, the hardcore types, 
those Mount Everest people, they might choose to bring their own rain gear and insulation, but all of that is provided for you if you wish. If you'd like some help comparing the Ocean Victory with other ships in Alaska or points beyond, or really just need some help figuring out which ship and cruise line might be the best one for you, then here's our contact coordinates and we'd love to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, or better yet, leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.